Hello, guys. Uh, welcome to Les on African Motives, still on electrical trade theory and to working on AC machines from uh, the revision of question paper of November 2022. Are given uh, on question seven, AC machines. In this case, the first part uh, on 7.1 is to state uh, two applications of shaded pole motors, okay? If we are dealing with a shaded pole motor, what are the applications? In this case, we are given to name two applications. That is the uses that we can have, okay? So we've got uh, the use of our uh, exhaust fans, the cooling fans, they can be used in toys, in electrical clocks, in hair dryers in this case. So we are dealing with uh, an applic like application where uh, are we going to use these? All right, so they are, can be used in any of these. So just any two uh, from your answers can be applicable. So this is uh, what we have uh, on the uses or the applications, all right? On 7.2, with regard to a split phase motor, Briefly describe each of the following. So we are given in this case a split phase motor. So uh, describe uh, the running winding, okay? The running winding in this case, all right? So this is what we have for the running uh, winding in this case. That is the main winding is made of thick wire with many turns. So it's actually made with thick wire with many turns. So it has a low resistance and a high inductance. So you have to take note in terms of resistance, resistance is low, inductance is, is high. So that is what we have on a running uh, winding in this case. Then the other part on 7.22 is the auxiliary or the starting winding all right so when you are dealing with auxiliary or starting winding uh this time we are going to mention that the auxiliary winding is made of thin wire with a few turns so this time we've got turns so that means the resistance the, uh, so its resistance the winding is high resistance and low inductance is opposite of what we had before. So now we are going to have high resistance, low inductance. All right, so this is uh, what was needed in this part of the question. Then we are given on the other part of the question, which is 7.3, with the reference to, a single, to single phase motors, explain how the direction of rotation of a universal motor can be reversed with reference to single phase, explain how the direction of rotation of universal motor can be reversed in this case. All right, so in this case, we can have this in terms of the, right, okay, so let me just have this, that's 7.3. We are given that the direction of rotation of universal motor can be reversed by simply changing the polarity across the armature or field coil. So if we change, the direction of the uh, polarity across the armature or the field coils. This can be achieved by interchanging the connections to the brush holders. All right, so that's what we are given in this case. All right, so that marks the last part of the question uh, from this question uh, on AC machines, having a total of eight marks. So let's work with more revisions, more question papers till we meet again.